Welcome to module four. This module we're going to talk about online resources and things like ebooks, um, e textbooks, journaling, things of that nature, uh, because that's really moved a lot online. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do out there. Uh, one of my more favorite tools is Book Creator. Um, make sure if you're going to use Book Creator, use the free version. Um, if you think you're going to use it a ton, you know, get into paid. But I'm a big believer in free. Free is, you know, uh, huge for me. Uh, but Book Creator is one of those ones I really like that you can have students do writing, you know, language arts teacher. Um, if you're a science teacher, maybe that's where you're going to do, um, you know, an experiment log, uh, you know, things of that nature. So there's a lot of things you can do with that one. Um, Storybird is another great one, especially since they've added a collaboration tool um, where you can have two students working on it at the same time or even having students read what other students have put together and then they can write about it and they can blog and things of that nature. So, um, you know, we want the students to be writing as much as they can in different fashions and uh, different creative ways. Uh, you know, this is also another way to take those students that maybe they can't write real well, but they love to draw. So, you know, you have maybe one student do the writing, another student illustrating, things of that nature. Kind of give students the ability to use what skills work best for them. So a lot of, another week of another really cool set of tools. Uh, to try out for your classroom. Uh, like I said, there's mo most, if not all of these, easily can be transferred into almost any subject matter. Uh, if you think about it, you know, just anything with note taking, journaling, things like that, they work. But to be able to dive deeper into putting some meaning behind some of that writing, uh, there's some great tools to share with your students.